Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah here from YourApplePlace.com. I got a great review for you guys. Um, and this um, software really helps me a lot out um, for doing with this with you guys. And since I've gotten this to review, I have been using this um, to make all my videos. Um, and it's, it's a wonderful program. Um, so what I have here is my last video that is actually uploading right now um, but I decided to um, make my tutorial for this um, it's called screen flow and what it is is it records your screen um, so you can make presentations or YouTube videos um, reviews like I'm doing right now um, let's say you need to do a school project this would help you a lot um, if we go up here maybe I can't do it since I'm recording no I can't um, but you can record um, using the microphone like I am now and you can record your computer audio which I do not have turned on and you could re um, record out of your eyesight or other webcam um, so you have a lot of freedom and flexibility with all this so right here I have the video let me mute this quick I don't think that worked. Nope. Let me just delete it then. Okay, there we go. Um, now, the first tab you have here is the videos property. Um, let me go over here. I have some in there. Um, when you want to add another video option, you hit add video action. You can scale it down. You can rotate it either way in like a 3D space. You can have a reflection. You can change the opacity. You could have a shadow on it. So let me put all this back to zero. Okay. You can change the shadow. Um, degree. Color. Let's say I want it to be a white shadow. Okay. Um, you can change the brightness of it. You have a lot of flexibility with this program. And when you want to, let's say you have your eyesight here, or actually, we'll go right on the text. I'll add another text box. Test text. We'll add that right there. And now when you're scrolling along here, and that goes away, so you want to make that again the scale whoops it went on the wrong box you want to scale that back up to 100 so let's see what it looks like it has a nice slow effect of you know zooming backwards having that text come in then it moves right back you also can play with your um, audio. You can add different effects. And since I don't have an audio file in there, I can't really do that. Um, but the settings are pretty straightforward for that. Um, on here, this is where you can change all the recording settings for your mouse. If you are, for example, doing a tutorial, which I will add this on. And you guys have already been seeing this, actually. Um, you can have the pointer zoom in when you click on something. Um, the click effect you can have as like radar it'll show um, a circle you can see it kind of really fast since I have this zoomed it's that red circle around it um, you can show you can add a sound on what that sounds like um, you can show what keys are being pressed I didn't really try that yet that's pretty cool actually it shows that when I was resizing, I was holding down the shift key, um, which would keep the item in there proportional for the website. So that's pretty cool. Let's go to the next tab. That's pretty much just, you know, a little bit um, going more into depth with um, the, the mouse and then you have annotation properties which you can have different um, annotation show up like the YouTube ones 
And we already went over text and you have the media, which you can add media to go into um, your composition here. Um, you can publish to YouTube, Vimeo, and to Flash, or you can just straight export it. Um, they have a lot of the options that they have in iMovie, like you can add a freeze frame, um, you can split, you can you can edit the video pretty much any way that you um, can in iMovie. Um, you you can add different fonts um, into your composition by simply clicking here and scrolling through your font library and you see how this has a black box behind it you can turn this off but it kinda makes it stand out a little bit more um, so that you can actually see it so it's pretty much you know you have layers here where you can add things on top of each other um, and, and this program really does make it look nice when you're doing reviews um, and if you add this in a school project you'll you'll get an A for sure because it, it just makes it look beautiful and especially when you're adding a lot of effects like if you're zooming in constantly to get a close-up on the screen and you're zooming out and you know moving the video all over the place and adding text things here and there it looks really nice and I mean you'll definitely be seeing that on my channel um, since I get to use this program a lot in the near future okay you guys are able to access this program on the Mac App Store I'll put a link to that in the description below or you can purchase it off of their website which I will also put that in the description as well now it does get a little bit pricey um, but for the price you you get so much freedom flexibility it's a nice program to use um, it's a hundred dollars um, but you get all this you anything you do with this will look beautiful it I mean anything you do with this will look beautiful and I mean it'll keep everything perfectly straight it'll lock it into place so if I want I want this um, text box to be perfectly um, in the middle it'll automatically lock it in there so it's, it's straight as I know of right now, this is the only product that is this beautiful. I mean, I used to use QuickTime, and you had no flexibility of that. You just recorded your screen, used the mic, and boom, you're done. You can't add any effects like you can on this, which this really does make it a lot nicer. And to be honest, I cannot think of anything that would make this um, application better at all. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review.